Congress and Social Members of the Economic and Social Commission, or Asian Pacific Committee on Social Development, to the Secretariat, to the representatives from civil society organizations, and to everyone attending this session, specifically about the Russian platform. Good afternoon. We would like to extend our sincere gratitude for the opportunity to share our insights on the Asian Pacific Indicator Framework for monitoring progress towards the implementation of the program action of the International Conference on Population and Development and of the commitments contained in the Asian Pacific Ministerial Declarations on Population and Development. We recognize that this framework is a very important milestone towards achieving the goals and objectives of the program of action for the International Conference on Population and Development and to the sustainable development goals overarching principles of leaving no one behind. We would like to express our support to the drug indicator framework and we look forward to its endorsement. To the report of the Asian and Pacific Population Conference has made reference about the needs to address the vulnerabilities, stigma discrimination faced by individuals and communities based on sex, gender, age, race, caste, class, migrant status, disability, HIV status, and sexual orientation and gender identity. The COVID-19 pandemic has amplified these vulnerabilities in our com communities and has demonstrated to us the need for collaborative action across movements. These intersectional vulnerabilities